Good evening guys, MC Procrastinate here for another two minute video as part of two minute series. Hope you guys are all doing well and if you haven't seen a two minute series before, check the link below. So guys, the topic of today is Aprilia. Now I'm not going to talk about my Aprilia, but I'm going to talk about Aprilia RSV Milli, okay, and RSV R Milli. Now, I actually, to tell you where this came from, I actually had an email off one of my mates today that said, hey, by the way, I've just bought a new bike, um, didn't spend a lot, I got a really great deal on it, and um, yeah, I think you'll like it, it's an Aprilia RSV uh, Milli, sorry, it's an Aprilia RSV Milli, and I was like, oh mate, fantastic, blah, 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 back to him, sent him an email, and then in that email, it was like, <clears throat> Yeah, mate, you tell me you got a new bike and you haven't sent a picture, you need to send me a picture. He sends me a picture and it's great. I'll stick a link up there of what it looks like. And wow, it, it, it's a great bike. But of course, like everything, when you've got bikes and you've got a bit of a history, there's certain things that just like pop in your mind and go, wow. I remember when I had an Aprilia RSVR Milli. So put in perspective, let's talk about the models back then. So you know how this is the factory? Well, they only reintroduced the factory, I think, in 2015. Well, yep, this is 2015. This is one of the first introductions of the factory, both on the RSV4 and also the um, V4 Tuano. Now, previously, they used to have a uh, RSVR Milli, uh, sorry, start again. They had an RSV Milli, an RSVR Milli, and then what they also had was a factory model. And the factory was quite, uh, had a significant part to it. Again, look at the pictures, it had a gold frame around it. I actually didn't really like that. Anyway, they did away with that at some point. My guess is they probably did away with that when they introduced the new V4 model and they went from V20 to V4 and then they worked up to bring out the, the, the factory and then reintroduced that back end, which I absolutely love, by the way. Anyway, going back to this Aprilia RSVR Milli. So the RSVR Milli, because it was like middle of the range, it had all the all-in suspension, all-in steering damper, etc. It was an amazing bike to ride, okay? I had a 2001 model and it was the pre-facelift. Now the facelift came in around 2004, and again, they had some amazing, like Aprilia, they're like MV Augusta in a way, right? They make these great bikes, but they also know how to design and put really cool color schemes on these bikes. Anyway, so they changed the rear end, which was like the two, two little rear um, stoplights on the back into an integrated system. It just looked much more modern. So the bike that I actually had was pre that change. Um, now, what was really unique about this bike is that it had the PlayStation colors, okay? So it was a race replica, it had the PlayStation colors. I never really followed or heard of Aprilia before I actually bought this bike. But I'll tell you now, it was one of the best bikes I've ever had. For starters, I couldn't get over the amount of power and torque that this bike had. And the looks that you got everywhere, the sound was absolutely amazing. But I've done lots of research about this bike, and what a lot of people don't know is the Aprilia engine itself, back on those earlier models, was almost bomb-proof. No more different than the Suzuki. In fact, the reliability from these engines really was surpassed. Some of these models were going way past 100, 120,000 miles, and they were still going. So I'm happy for my mate that's bought this Aprilia because I know he's gonna have a really good bike. And more importantly, I'm going to go riding with them, so that's just going to be amazing. So guys, what do you think about the older models of Prilia? Would you still buy one today? If you link into my other video, you can see that these bikes actually fall within that price point now of that kind of four or $5,000 relative to, of course, where you're living in New Zealand, and then, you know, a couple, two, three thousand $3,000 in America and a couple of grand in the UK. So they're really affordable bikes, you know, and you get a lot of bike for your money with a lot of really cool components. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Who out there has got a really nice old school Aprilia? What do you love about it? For now, MC Procrastinator out.